Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about cutting down your area rugs. And in these next few minutes, you're gonna learn how you can repurpose, reuse, and even resize those existing area rugs that no longer fit into your spaces, rooms, or homes. You know, you might have moved, and no matter how hard you've tried, you couldn't get them to play nice when you've relocated to your new space. So you've decided to roll them up and put them away in the back of your closet or storage unit, where, by the way, they're still taking up space, just not the space you had once intended for them. So in this video today, we'll talk about those rugs that you've probably paid yeah, a lot of money for. And I'm gonna help you to make much better use of those rugs that you might have put in the back of your closet by offering you a whole new set of rules to consider. Hi everyone, and welcome to Design Beyond the Visual. I'm Heidi Smith, your decorating coach and energetic advisor for you, your home, and for your workplace spaces, where my joy and my job is to help you create good vastu for your whole home. And quickly, for those of you who may be new to the term vastu, vastu simply is an ancient science and wisdom of design and architecture that originated in India, and it stems from the same traditions as yoga and meditation. It's been around for a long time, over 10,000 years. And good vastu simply brings positive energies of harmony and good health to our buildings, our homes, and our physical environments. You can think of it as yoga for the home, or the yoga of design, or even the mother of feng shui. So I am here today to talk about area rugs and how we talk, work with both vastu and design to get the best look and feel for our spaces. So if you've got some area rugs that you've got crammed underneath your bed or put away in storage, in this video you're gonna learn what you can do with them and you may be fishing them out of their rug graves and bringing them back to life with a whole new look and feel. And it starts with just a little bit of flexibility. So if you're a bit of a vagabond like myself, I've tended to move um, every few years or so, and maybe like me, you might have discovered when getting into your new space that your furniture and furnishings don't exactly fit into your new digs in exactly the same way as they did before. I will tell you, it's not always easy to get your furnishings to come together and to achieve that pleasing result you desire, even as a professional interior designer. So, for example, a comfy chair you might have had snuggled up next to your sofa in your former space where you've pulled together a, you know, a nice area rug to complete that look. It feels cozy and pleasing. But before moving to the new space, you probably imagined you were gonna have that same look and feel. But once you're in, you soon find that it doesn't look at all the way you had hoped or imagined it would. And it's really not generating the same cozy feel you remember either. So one of your key players here is the area rug. And let me just say, in both my personal and professional experience, like I was saying, it doesn't always play nice when it has to move to a new abode. We can get a, you know, a side chair and a sofa to fit, but oftentimes the area rugs are a little bit more stubborn. And there are a lot of reasons why that can be. The room could be too small or too big or, uh, you could have some wonky walls and, of course, you know, the traffic patterns have, have changed as well. But before you give up on your rugs not working for you and relegate them to the back of your closet, I'm going to give you my number one tip that I recommend, and that is to try your rugs or rug in another room of your new home. No brainer, right? But you would be surprised how many people do not or will not consider this, as the case may be, you know, like if it was in your living room before, it's gotta go back in your living room again, right? Not necessarily. You know, how about trying it in a dining room or a bedroom or a guest room or sun porch, your kitchen? You know, think outside the box. Your old home is, you know, it's yesterday. And today it's all about the new place and what works within its walls, the floors, the light, and the energetic feel of its floor plan, its layout. All right, so you've tried the rug in all sorts of different rooms and you've exhausted all the possibilities and you're still seeing that it's not gonna work, it's not gonna fit, and you're 
ready to roll it up and store it under your bed or like I said put it in the back of your closet but you know you may even want to give it to your kids like I tried to do but they don't want it because it's not their style it's not their taste and they're gonna end up storing it anyway so how about this how about cutting it down I'm serious yeah I know I'm gonna get some pushback I have before but really if, if you're not gonna use it and by cutting it down it can serve another purpose where you can enjoy it in a different way why not you know Okay, I know what you're thinking. I've heard things like, do you know how much I paid for that rug? Yes, I probably do know, or I could take a really good guess. Or, well, you, you know, you can't just cut down a rug. Yeah, you can. You can do it. But what it, won't, it won't be worth as much as what I paid for it. It's probably already not as worth as much as what you paid for it. I mean, really, unless it's from the Queen's Castle or something akin to that. It's highly likely lost its dollar value, you know, the minute you drove off the parking lot, you know, like a lot of things, right? But what about creating a different kind of value where you still get to use your rug, you still get to enjoy it by simply cutting it down. Still not on board and you say, oh, I'm gonna sell it before I cut it down. Your call and you can certainly try to do that if it's an heirloom rug, Go to your local heir, heirloom rug shop and see if they'd be willing to make a trade for you or maybe there's going to be a slight upcharge for something that might be more suitable you know, for your new space. But whatever you do, and if you are considering cutting down the rug, you know, work through any of that resistance you might have around it because once the rug is cut, it's cut. All right, so stay with me because we are going to get in to the how here in just a minute. And by the way, the re reason why I'm leading you through all this is because we often need a mindset reset when we're going full on rogue, in this case, cutting down an area rug, because historically this is an approach that might fall into that should not category. But what I am trying to convey here is by bringing new life and reusing things we have, ultimately the choice to do so can be the difference between a hindrance or enhancement to the flow of positive energy, not only in your space, but in you, you know, the person, the people in the space. All right, so where do you go and who does this cutting down of the rug? How, how do you do it? What are, what's involved? What are my next steps? So here's the connection I want you to make before cutting down your rug. We're talking about modifying the size of your area rug, right? So if we cut it too small, for example, for the function, yeah, that's a given. You're probably going to see that it's a little off. Uh, but the feeling created, if it's miscut, even though it's considered somewhat of a nuance, well, that nuance can and energetically feel subtle or not so subtle. subtle. So the point I'm making is if you cut it too small, either way you shake it out, it's going to result in a feeling of disconnect where we lose an opportunity to anchor, or as I look at it, ground the space and those things in and around the space. Think of your rug as the ground you walk on and you know let it work for you. Let it be that element of decor that helps you to feel connected to the space. And the way we do that is ensuring it is cut down or is the proper size for the function you are needing. Believe it or not, you know, using just a little mindfulness to make your spaces work for you goes a long way in positively supporting your day-to-day -day life. Remember, what I am trying to impart here is we're taking your decor beyond the visual. So in essence, a rug that is too small for the function can create a feeling of discomfort or unrest in the overall space, and it'll end up being a space you probably won't want to spend much time in. And who wants that? So the first step is know the function you are desiring for the area rug. And I'm talking about, you know, the room or the space that it's to serve and what furniture pieces, if any, you're planning to incorporate with it. Gather all those things in the room and play with the spacing of them. Have fun with this. It's playtime. This is the time and place to be as creative as you want. And, you know, you haven't made the final cut yet, right? So. For example, decide how tight you know you want the, the furnishing, furniture grouping to be or how expansive you want it to be or feel. Either way, get the function and the placement secured before 
moving on to the next step, which is templating. Now it's time to figure out what size rug you really need for the space. And here's a really good, cheap, and effective tool to help you determine the new dimensions for your rug by either marking it out on the floor right on the rug itself. And by the way, this templating technique is great for determining any new rug purchases you might be considering as well. And that tool you'll want to pick up is a roll of brown painter's tape. It's a painter's tape that's not terribly tacky, doesn't stick too well to the walls, but it kind of looks like a brown paper bag but it does a great job on the floor, moves around very easily for you. So, you know, you can play some more, you know, with this technique. Um, it's just, you know, slightly sticky paper at this point. And once you mock up the rug, I would recommend that you live with this for a couple of days, you know, get used to the feeling of it and the size of it and just sort of imagine, you know, how that, will be for you and because you want to ensure you know that the new size will offer the proper feeling of groundedness and connection to the space and items that may be resting on it including and especially you so once you've made a decision on the function and size of the rug you're ready for the big step to get the rug cut down to your specifications and I recommend that you take your rug to a professional, independent area rug or carpet business. Home Depot is good for a lot of things, but it doesn't have a department for this, um, at least as of right now. There will be a relatively minimal charge for cutting down the rug, but trust me, it'll be a fraction of the cost of replacing it. And it's so worth it because you'll have a professionally cut rug that you can still use and enjoy in your home, and chances are you may even prefer its new look and the smaller size. By the way, as you're listening, hit the like, share, and subscribe button. I'd really appreciate your help getting this out there. So the rug size, depending on uh, pattern, I just wanna mention that for a minute. Um, if it doesn't have a repeat pattern, the sky is the limit as to where you can make that cut and cut it to any dimension. If your rug, however, has a pattern to it, you'll need to be even more mindful of, you know, where you are going to make the cuts and your vendor can help you do this because you are, in essence, creating a new pattern when you cut down the rug. So if you like this idea of cutting and resizing your area rug and you think it's something you might want to do, please, like I said, take it to an expert. You know, if it's too heavy or cumbersome for you to transport yourself, give them a call. See if they'll come and, you know, pick it up and deliver it back to you. Often they will very happily do that for you. So whether you move into a new space or you just want to create, you know, something different for your existing space, cutting down your area rug may be something you're ready to consider. You know, bring some new life into those old rugs and, and you know, make them work for you again with a renewed sense of purpose, a fresh look, and who knows, maybe even a better feel and function for your new space. Use a little mindfulness, you know, when you're reshaping your spaces and cutting down your area, area rug is just, you know, one way that you can infuse new life into your decor. And you may even find that process means much more to you than just simply resizing or repurposing a rug. Who knows? You know, it could be an important step for restructuring or reinventing a whole new life. And that, in and of itself, is value. Well, this concludes our video today from Design Beyond the Visual on cutting down your airy rugs, and I hope you found it helpful and are inspired to take your decor beyond the visual. And if you are so led, again, please hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons below and let me know in the comments, you know, how I can help you bring a deeper sense of connection to your homes and workplace spaces so that, you know, your day-to-day -day life is always and in all ways infused with brilliance, beauty, and balance. Thank you everybody for uh, joining me here today. I will have a new video for you every Friday. And in the meantime, uh, this is Heidi Smith from Design Beyond the Visual, and I wish you all a good Vastu. Bye, everybody.